Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do my birth story. Well, not my birth story, but this girl's birth story. This is Willa May. She was born on June 14th, 2018 at 719 p.m. Guys, this is a story for the record book, so sit tight, because it's about to begin. So I thought that Willa was gonna come really early, and she didn't. She came two days before her due date. And I actually had posted to Facebook that morning saying, I'm still pregnant and this little girl is grounded because she's not coming out anytime soon. Well, lo and behold, little did I know that she would be born that day. So we ended up going to the midwife's office in the early in the morning and she did a sweep. I think the sweep did really get things started, but she told me that she was really high up still and that even though I was one to two centimeters dilated, that I definitely had to get squatting and I had to get her to get lower down into like to put on my cervix more so Dan and I my husband and my two-year-old son Cooper we went to the park we started walking I started squatting I started doing just crazy stuff anything I could do to get her out I was dancing we ended up going to the mall I walked up and down some stairs and I was feeling good so we went home I ate some food and around 1 30 I was like man I am tired so out of nowhere I got really exhausted and I said Dan I need to take a nap and that's not like me. I'm not a person that really takes naps. So I ended up going for a nap. 3.30 rolls around. I wake up instantly and I feel a and what do I know? My water breaks. And my water actually broke with my son Cooper, my first baby. And so I knew what it felt like. My water broke and I went, oh, and I just knew. I literally thought to myself, it's go time. So I called Dan into the room. I more or less screamed for him. And I was like, Dan, come here, come here. So he comes in and he's like, what? And I was like, my water broke, get a towel. And he was like, oh man here we go so he grabs a towel i jump out of bed surprisingly i got no water on our bed i have no idea how i managed to do that but the second i stood up the water just came out and i went and i went and i went to the bathroom i put on my trusty depends guys i literally depends are like my go-to like pregnancy and postpartum item when your water breaks if it breaks having depends on hand is like the best thing ever hashtag adult diapers for life so i knew that we would have to go to the hospital a lot sooner than we did with my son's pregnancy um my water broke at six in the morning with him and by 6 p.m that night we ended up going to the hospital so i knew we weren't gonna have that much time but i did want to tidy up around the house because I am a mom and I knew that my mother-in-law would be coming over and I just wanted everything to be nice and ready for when we got back home from the hospital. So I started cleaning, Dan started feeding our son and we were just pretty much getting everything ready, our bags packed, ready to go. So we did that <laughs> and by the time my mother-in-law came up and the house was clean and my son was ready to um, be watched by my mother-in-law, it was like 6 o'clock. We get into the car, 6 p.m. and my contractions are starting I'm starting to really feel them my contractions I started to feel right away the second my water broke but these were starting to get pretty painful this time and while I'm in the car I'm like oh no I'm starting to not be able to talk through these contractions which is a sign that you're you know pretty much really in labor I end up going up to maternity I'm in the elevator and I'm like this baby feels like it's gonna come out of my body <laughs> It was really, really tough. By this time, it was probably about 6.30, 6.35, I would say. We get up to the hospital room. It's the same hospital room that I delivered Cooper in, which I just thought was like such a sweet, special thing. And my midwife checks me and I'm six centimeters dilated. Now, mind you, I was one to two centimeters dilated that morning. So all those workout moves that I did totally, totally worked. I'm sitting there and I'm talking to my midwife and I, the contractions really hurt but I'm able to kind of talk in between them and they're not too bad. By this time it's probably about 6.45, 6.50. The contractions are really starting to pick up. My plan was to get into the birthing tub and to kind of just, you know, get through some of labor in the tub and then get out afterwards and have the baby, you know, out of the tub but I never made it into the tub guys and that's because around 7 p.m. ish my contractions were intense I was in so much pain I was hurting so badly oh my goodness I was saying I think I really need an epidural I don't think that I can push through this pain it hurts so so bad it hurts so 
bad. More than my contractions ever hurt with my son and I labored for 19 and a half, almost 20 hours. I labored without any epidural with him. So I was just really shocked at how badly these contractions hurt. I started freaking out. I was said, the baby, I feel like I have to poop. I feel like the baby's coming out. I need to go to the bathroom. I kept saying, I need to go to the bathroom. I feel the baby. Like, I feel like I'm gonna give birth. I'm standing there and I'm like, the baby's coming. I need you to get my midwife. Mind you, this is only like, what, 15 minutes? Like, since I got checked? Yeah, like 20 minutes since I had gotten checked the last time. And I was only a six centimeters. So she quickly tells me to get on the bed and so that she can check me fully dilated. Fully dilated, the baby's coming. She's already like starting to show. I was in transition that whole time, that's why I was freaking out because it hurt so badly and I was literally, the baby was getting ready to come. I don't even know why this is, but I say I need to turn over. So I turn over and I'm on all fours. I have my butt facing like the midwife, my face is reaching the back of the bed, I'm holding onto the railings, I have my butt in the air and I'm just like, I, I guess I asked for a cold washcloth to like put on my, my neck. Apparently my body and my mind knew exactly what I needed in that moment because I don't remember any of this I was in so much pain And I'm like I'm gonna start pushing I start pushing with the contractions Literally this was all at like 7 15 I would say 7 19 she was born and I put that's how I pushed I was on all fours like a dog and it was like the best way to push ever this baby came out so just efficiently and the pushes just really felt like i was doing stuff i pushed with two, for two hours with my son cooper and i was on my back and it was just so hard to push and so i'm like all about this position now like i hope if i have more babies that i can have all of my babies like that so at 7 19 that was it she was born she was here her cord is actually wrapped around her neck a few times so they had to stop me from pushing things got a little scared there for a second and she was able to finally get the cord like from wrapped around her neck I um I wasn't able to do delayed cord clamping like I wanted to but I also wasn't able to do it with my son Cooper because he also had the cord wrapped around his neck she also came so fast and so aggressively that they kind of wanted to monitor her right away instead of putting her on my chest which at that point guys I don't even care I just want what's best for my baby so they ended up monitoring her a little bit Dan went over with Willa and made sure that she was okay and kind of stayed with her. Um, they were literally like three feet from my bed. It wasn't like they went into another room or anything. I was able to keep my eye on her the whole time. Um, I passed the placenta. That was always like a weird but interesting situation. Nobody really talks about that, but it just kind of feels like this blob coming out. They also had to stitch me up as well because I had a second degree tear. She said it was really a first degree, but there was like teeny bit second degree, so she had to classify it as that. That is my birth story. Everything was beautiful. Um, after they monitored Willa, they were able to put her on my chest and they let me stay in the delivery room for hours. We were in there probably until like 9 30, 10 o'clock, and we had her at 7 19. So they gave me all the time in the world to just like me and Dan just to enjoy our time with her and just like it was just so sweet. As crazy of a story as it was, I just I cannot believe it happened still. I can't believe I had a non medicated birth. I just I can't believe it. It's just I still to this day. A month later, I cannot believe that that happened. I went from not thinking I was gonna have a baby to having a baby within like three and a half hours. It was just, my water broke and then like almost, like a little under four hours later I had her. It was just, just crazy, crazy of a story. But anyway, thank you guys so much for sitting and hanging out for story time with me. I hope you really enjoyed my labor story. I just can't believe it happened. I had the most beautiful, gorgeous, just, uh, I love my babies. I have the most beautiful daughter and it's all because of my favorite absolute best person in the world that I love and that's my husband and we just make really cute babies together. I know I'm totally, totally biased <laughs> but I just, I love our little family. I love how this baby girl so fiercely came into the world. She is our rainbow baby and I love that after feeling like my body failed me having a miscarriage, I feel like my birthing experience, how much I listened to my body and just how much of a beast it was, how much of a just warrior and how powerful I felt to have a labor this way. I feel like I totally just, I just have all the faith in the world in my body again and I think that it was really healing for me to have a labor experience like this. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you're new to our channel, please subscribe. We'd love to have you come along. Like this video if you liked it and we will see you soon. Bye. This is Willa. 
she is sleeping. <laughs> you say hi. Hi. <laughs> She's like, leave me alone.